Welcome to the Joy of Learning Academy. In this video, you will find many educational ideas of activities you can do during fall in the month of November. As always, we want to have fun and also maximize learning time for our young students. I will show you some of the activities we did this week, how to make them and activities in process. I will also like to share some memories of Thanksgiving celebrations. These simple ideas can be extended based on your children's development. I will show you how to maximize learning time as every moment counts. Before we begin, if you're new to my channel, welcome. And I want to invite you to subscribe. If you are my current subscriber, thank you for watching and come in here to say hi and tell us where are you watching from. You could let us know what ideas are new to you or inspire you to practice with your child or student. If you try any of these activities and you hashtag us with the Joy of Learning Academy in your social media, we will shout and share your picture in our next videos. Our goal is to inspire you and continue to make a difference in the children's lives, extending our community of educators, mom, learners, and more. So let's get started. Our first activity will be making turkeys. These turkeys are very easy to make. All you need is construction paper, markers, and scissors. You can just draw how I'm doing. Then you need to cut it, and you also need feathers. It will be easier for me to cut them, but and I already have them, as you may see, for younger children. But if you have children ages uh, two and a half, um, use this activity to help them develop their fine motor skills by having them cut. Remember that the process is more important than the outcome and you don't want to miss any teachable moment. To extend the activity, we're using the turkeys for letters review. Um, you can use it for your child to learn his or her name. In the past, we also used the feathers for children to tell us what they are thankful for. Be creative and most important, engage your child and your students in the process. We're also getting letters ready using foam paper for them to make their names. To help younger children be successful, you can separate the letters in a plastic bag like we are doing and then just to place it in the right order. For all the children or children who master their name, you can just have different letters and have them choose the letters they need. Remember, we are facilitators and we want children to be successful. So make sure that you adjust activities for your children according to your students' development and challenge them whenever you, you can. your name, Gregory? Those are your letters. Can you tell me your letters? V-O-E-V-O-R-Y. -E Very good. Now we have your friends' names here. Okay. okay, I see Matthew's cutting here. He's little, getting some help. And then Leilani cut feathers. That means you're gonna have your turkey is gonna have how many feathers? How many do you have? Eight. eight. Leilani, let's I count. Leilani. I have one. Count. No, starting here. Your letter. I have one, two, three, four, five. Six. Seven. Eight. Nine. Ten. Eleven. So your turkey is gonna have seven. Okay. What more do you need? After four, five, six, seven. Good job. But your name has eight, so you need one more feather. Your name has seven letters. Let's count. One, two, three, four. What's after four? Five. After five is six and. Seven. Let's practice because in here we get a little confused. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Two. Your names? L, E, I, L. After the L comes, letter A. Where is the letter A? Call and tail. Aha, uh -huh, yes. Okay, now that one is supposed to go after the L. So what are you going to do? Stretch. 
Ok, switch. Gabriela. Oh, Gabriela, you're missing one, one feather. A comes the letter C. Is that what you have? Are you peeling? I know it's a little hard. You did it. You're peeling the sticker. Now you need to put. Oh, oh, pick it up, pick it up. Pick up your letter, I'll help you. Okay, J A C. Yay! Oh, let me see your turkey. You did the letters? May I see the letters? If you match. Ariel. Oh, you need the letter. Okay. Okay, let's switch it up. Where? What happened? You do the turkey pokey and you turn yourself around. That's what it's all about. You put your stuff in. In this activity, we're gonna make a rift, and you could use any newspapers that you guys have, um, materials that you have at home. This is just example, but you guys could use some materials that you have at home. I have here leaves, dry leaves that kids could put it on, on, on here to decorate. Oh, we have shiny ones, and then we have these leaves that we were using um, for name matching. And then I have some of these leaves in here. I'm gonna use some uh, scrap paper that I have. And if you have tissue paper that is orange or brown, that would be even nicer. But these are the tissue papers that I have. And then you need some tape. That's all you need. So you have to make them. Um, it's very simple. All you have to do is squish paper. And I'm trying to make um, different styles of using different kind of papers. I'm using um, some thick paper, so you could have an idea. Not all our work has to look the same, and that's what I always try to emphasize, because not all kids' work need to look the same. I like when our students create their own masterpiece, and because each child is individual and unique, and I like to allow and have room for them to create their artwork as a unique piece of work. It is extra work to do this, but it's all worth it because then at the end of the day, they have their own unique piece as they are unique. So here I'm using tissue paper for some, so students could have many choices when they get to choose uh, which one they wanna, they wanna use for, for theirs. So. Like I say, if you have orange tissue or brown tissue paper, it will look even better. But I'm using what I have. And I want our students also to see, to be resource, resourceful. Not to be limited of, yeah, just, you know, one way of doing things. There's many different ways to do things. And I'm right now demonstrating how you could use different kinds of materials uh, to make it work and make the riff. Some of those um, brown papers, you usually get in boxes and we save it because when we get deliveries, we get um, the brown paper. And now I'm going to have my students here um, helping us because we want to have wrinkles. We want the newspapers to be bulky. So this is another way to show them about reusing, reduce and recycle. As we want to practice that through the whole year, not just on Earth Day. Thank you, Matthew. Now, now we're gonna turn this wrinkle paper into something beautiful. Thank you. Now all these wrinkle paper are gonna be all wrapped up like this. Can you wrinkle this paper? Here, please. Squish it and make it wrinkle. Wrinkle, wrinkle. As a teacher, as a family daycare provider, moms, caregivers, we have to be able to multitask and don't forget to have pleasant conversations with your kids that are around.
what we're gonna do in this uh, this shape what's the shape circle circle we put it different colors some of them are like yellow some of them are like this you guys have to be careful because this one is has tissue paper and it could break you guys are gonna decorate with whatever you want we have leaves we have ribbons we have tiny little leaves that are like kind of like shiny we have bigger leaves however you want something else. Would you like to get a string or something? Yeah. You want to write it? Right? Okay, you do. You practice. No, do it. And you. And you. Okay. Okay. I like it. Okay. It looks so beautiful. Would you like to add some more things? Oh, no. It's so colorful, Leilani. What else are you gonna do? Shiny. Yes. I have this one. If you want, look, dry leaf. That dry leaf is big and beautiful. 
And I had this one too. Don't pull it. Thank you. You're welcome. <laughs> Whoa, Let's this is so beautiful. I like it. Cut it, cut it with you. Keep trying, keep trying. You could do it, Leilani. Don't give up. You want me to help you hold it? Okay, I'll help you. Hold on, hold on. Okay, I'll help you. Yay! As you may see, making this 3D art was very easy and yet kids have a lot of fun being creative and it was a nice um, display that they could put it at home. Here are other ideas of things you could do with your students, making our thankful dream. Also you could make turkeys that are 3D using paper rolls and adding the words why are they thankful. Uh, math activities for making numbers to put the feathers. Uh, we draw here as in Thanksgiving we talk a lot about family. Our students use um, this best. We let them cut and draw pictures of their family in the back. So they practice their fan motor skills and also the creativity drawing their families as we practice how to make a face and that we also make patterns. We can use um, their hats for them to make a pattern for their Indian hat. Um, we also had done family projects or so things that you guys could do at home, just printing a cornucopia and have them decorate as they wish so they could make their own masterpiece. Or you could make them do turkeys as well. We use them as family projects and they present this in class. Also for our Thanksgiving feast, our program always makes our Turkey. We use the rusticity to make turkey and our families bring something from home. Now with COVID-19, they're still bringing something, but it's just that the store purchase. And we want to have a healthy choices for our store feast. As always, we don't want to have um, a lot of sweets as our classroom promotes healthy habits. So sweets are very limited during holidays as well. And last but not the least, if not the most important, we cannot miss the opportunity to teach children valuable lessons of family, traditions, gratitude, caring, kindness, and making a difference. Story times are the best times to instill valuable lessons, as our class will be just a tool to reinforce learning. During the year, we like to involve our preschoolers in the community or a great cause. This year, as some of the other years, we'll join Operation Christmas to bless children in other parts of the world. Our preschoolers learn how other children live in other parts of the world, and it brings awareness of how blessed we are. So I hope you guys like these ideas. Don't forget to subscribe to our channel. And coming up soon, uh, our next video will have ideas for Christmas and winter activities. Bye for now, until next time.